So this is actually a pretty interesting story and there seems to be a trend that's going on right now where at college campuses and specifically it seems like Southern California ones but it seems more specifically to be like UCLA seems to get hit a lot by this but it looks like USC as well and some of the other ones in that area. I don't know if like UC or I don't think UC Irvine's really getting hit with this like like these two schools are and you know if you know any others that are getting hit by you know let me know because i'm curious um it says university of southern california sues youtubers over pranks says the university of southern california is suing two youtube performers who the school says created panic after barging into classrooms to film prank videos for their channels court documents obtained by the los angeles times claim the pair caused terror and disruption during three classroom takeover incidents in the university's mark taper hall of humanities the youtubers Ernest Konevsky and Yu-Gi-Oh! Bai are not USC students. They could not be reached for comment Monday, and it was unclear whether they have attorneys who could speak on their behalf. A judge on Friday issued a temporary restraining order banning the pair from USC's downtown Los Angeles campus. In the latest incident, on March 29th, Konevsky and Bai interrupted a lecture on the Holocaust while pretending to be a member of the Russian Mafia and Hugo Boss, a known manufacturer of Nazi uniforms during World War II according to court documents. Students ran from the classroom, in some cases tripping over seats and leaving behind laptops and backpacks, in an attempt to flee would reasonably appear to them as a credible threat of imminent classroom violence, the court filing says. So I don't know about you, but if you come in looking like a member of the Russian mafia and, you know, Hugo Boss, a manufacturer of Nazi uniforms, you're probably going to be pretty fearful. And so, Obviously, you guys know that, you know, one of the uh, one of the exceptions to the First Amendment free speech is you can't go in and, you know, disturb the peace based on a lie. So, you know, the common example I'm sure you've heard before, you can't go into a movie theater and yell there's a fire when there's no fire. Uh, You're disturbing the peace. And so it can cause real damages. People can die. Stampedes kill a lot of people, actually. Uh, we saw with like, um, you know, Travis Scott stuff, but even like stampedes and like Mecca and places like that would be just crazy. Um, but that is one of the exceptions. You can't just go in and, you know, cause a huge panic like that. Um, that is not legal. And so that's, what's going to be super interesting about this. Um, Says the university's lawyer said the pair's conduct amounts to both a public and private nuisance that caused students to experience fear and emotional distress. In September, Konevsky, by an associate, entered a data science la- a lecture and allegedly used physical intimidation to force the professor out of the classroom before taking over the lectern and subjecting the students to insults and demeaning behavior, court documents say. In addition to the restraining order, the suit seeks unspecified compensatory damages, along with attorneys' fees and other related costs. Konevsky's YouTube channel has more than 111,000 subscribers, and his videos have received more than 8.3 million views. Um, That's actually uh, not all that much, Um, especially the 8.3 million views. Um, If that's the total channel views, that's definitely pretty weak. But anyway, so this is going to be a big deal, and I don't know whether this would be something that could even come up as like a criminal suit. This looks to be, this is a, 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 a civil suit, not a criminal suit. I would assume it would turn criminal maybe if like people actually died or got injured, but it doesn't appear that that happened. But this will be interesting because it should set up some kind of case law because like I said, this seems to be a trend that's going on at these Southern California universities. I, you know, I frequent uh, all the UC subreddits because I'm actually uh, transferring to a UC uh, you know, this following year. So, you know, I was like, I see, I saw, I saw this on the UCLA subreddit just today, posted four hours ago to the person who ordered a stripper to biochem 153a today. Um, this person just completely went off. I mean, wow, that's, that's a lot of curse words. I might actually have to blur that stuff out now that I'm looking at it, but you know, uh, here's the context of it. it says we had a quiz in 153a and like five minutes in we hear a female voice in the back ask is blank a name here someone says yes and a girl dressed in a skimpy nurse outfit struts to sit next to him fast forward a little and our professor is telling him to leave or else she'll fail him as he's begging to stay to take the quiz while promising he won't cheat with enough booing from the class and the professor threatening to fail him he says uh fuck you guys you guys are just discriminating against Brittany because she's a stripper i should have just gone to usc 
So what I'm curious about this, I think there's more information here that I haven't actually looked at, but I don't know if like, is this a student at UC, uh, UCLA that's doing this or is it just a troll that doesn't actually go to UCLA that's doing this? You know what I mean? Like, if I snake, like I'm not sure, um, but that would be weird if it was an actual student doing that. Like what kind of like mental disorder would you have to have to be a student at a prestigious, you know, at one of the most prestigious universities, period, UCLA, you go to class and you're trolling by bringing in like, you know, uh, um, you know, a stripper or whatever. That's super weird. But, um, this is likely going to cause more security crackdowns because these are uh, definitely massive security threats. And it makes me worried for a uh, student safety because like these things could totally go left like in that situation where it causes panic you can start like stampedes and maybe it's an actual maybe it could even be like an actual physical threat you know like who knows and so it's going to be interesting because this seems to be a new trend where you know we didn't have in the past i don't think we have much legislation or not legislation but case law about and i guess it could turn into potential legislation but you know we don't have much uh precedence of YouTubers doing pranks that are uh, disturbing the peace at universities, especially because it's like, I think, I mean, the U USC is a private school, so I don't know how this applies, how this would apply to them because they're private. So, you know, if you're on USC's campus, are you could you be trespassing because it's private property? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. And if it's UCLA, UCLA is a public school. That's a, you know, University of California. So with that, it's even more murky because there's even more freedoms given that it's a school of California, right? Uh, it's a, it's a government run school. So given that, uh, it would require more freedoms than something private would, right? So what's going to end up happening? I'm not really sure, but I could definitely see there being at least civil convictions of some kind. I'm definitely curious to see what happens here, but this seems to be a pretty consistent issue. And so it's going to continue to grow and grow. So I'm really curious to see how this turns out. But, you know, if I'm a student next semester and there's just a weird shit like that going on, it would be very annoying. There's like the fact that it's disturbing the uh, learning that's supposed to be going on in class but also the fact that these are people that don't go to the school. And then the worst part is it's a literal security threats in many different ways. It's literally put students in safety at risk, either from sheer panic, or it could straight up just be a legit physical threat. Like someone could come in and legitimately be a physical threat. Um, there's also a lot of mentally ill people that are going to be roaming the streets of California uh, because, you know, Reagan shut down all of the mental institutions. Um, and so there's a lot of people who are, you know, homeless, who are mentally ill, schizophrenic, completely deluded to where they're talking to themselves and just completely, and they need help. They need to be taken into a mental institution and, you know, given, uh, antipsychotics plus psychotherapy. And, you know, you would, um, you would try to reinstate them back in society because you can bring somebody back even if they're super deluded into schizophrenia with the combination of psychotherapy as well as antipsychotics uh, you can bring them back but even if you can't you got to give them long-term care in a mental institution because it's just better for everybody to have them <laughs> in a mental institution being cared for rather than them roaming the streets right so that's a big issue that i see it seems like almost anywhere in california you go whether it be like lake tahoe la just anywhere any city you go to wherever you're just gonna see it which is it's really really sad to see definitely uh, where it's just like people are just completely delusional just completely deluded and it's it's a very sad thing to see but this is definitely something that's very fascinating and uh you know ucla acceptances are coming out so it'll be exciting to see what happens